your health this morning, California will start manufacturing its own insulin. Governor Gavin Newsom introduced the $100 million program last week, and our Aziza Schuler joins us from Glendale with more. Good morning, Aziza. Good morning, Giselle. Diabetes is an extremely expensive condition. It's actually one of the most expensive chronic diseases in this country. So it was very intriguing hearing Governor Newsom announce that California is taking matters into our own hands. But after speaking to a diabetes advocate as well as a pharmacist, they both say this is a small step in the right direction because there's more work that needs to be done. A liquid drug that's as expensive as any gold medal Gary Hall Jr. has won. Diagnosed with diabetes in 1999, Gary was a 24-year-old competitive swimmer who became the first athlete with type 1 diabetes to win medals in the Olympic Games. When I was diagnosed, a vial of insulin, a one-month supply, cost $25. Today, that same vial of insulin costs over $330 upwards of $400 a vial for a one-month supply. Like millions of diabetic Californians, Gary needs at least two of these vials of insulin a month to live. Last year, California passed a bill that limits copay for insulin for those enrolled in state-regulated health insurance to $50 for a 30-day supply. Now, in an effort to make the drug more affordable across the board, Governor Gavin Newsom announced the state will begin making its own insulin. 50 million will go towards the development of low-cost insulin products and an additional 50 million will go towards a California-based insulin manufacturing facility. Yana Paulson is the chief of pharmacy for LA Care, a health plan covering over 2 million of LA County's underserved residents. About 16,000 of their members take insulin. And while she says Newsom's plan would reduce drug costs for providers, Paulson believes California making its own insulin is a lofty goal. Setting up a plant that makes insulin is very complicated and very expensive. It is a biologic process. You actually have to grow the cells. It has to be safe. It has to be tested. For decades, three companies have produced the majority of the world's insulin. And Gary says it's about time another manufacturer was introduced to the market. It is possible to achieve um, more affordable insulin. But the cost of insulin is only a drop in the bucket compared to the $20,000 a year he says he spends managing his diabetes. Pumps, uh, infusion sets, test strips, glucose meters, cos swabs, these should be paid for by insurance companies across the board. He says more work needs to be done to help those fighting one of the nation's most expensive chronic diseases. And according to the American Diabetes Association, on average, people with diabetes are spending at least $16,000 on out-of-pocket expenses, which only includes about 18% of that is on insulin. The rest is on diabetes supplies, doctor's visits, and health care, of course, um, as well as hospital care as well. Back to you all. Oh, it's insane. It's just so difficult to get what you need, right? So it's great this is happening in California, but at the federal level, Aziza, where do things stand? Well, Giselle, if you remember back in March when President Biden gave his State of the Union address, he pledged to make diabetes care more affordable. And days later, the House passed the Insulin Affordable Now Act, which it was passed by the House, but of course it still has to go on to the Senate and is yet to be passed there. But if it is passed, then um, insulin for everyday Americans who have private health insurance or Medicare, they'll be only paying $35 a month on insulin. Well, keep us posted. That is so important for people who need it and need to be able to afford it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Great Aziz. reporting.